What's up, Ketchup? Welcome to episode three. Oh. Let's meet the ingredients. Of course, we have our old rice, oil, onion, garlic, and ginger. Star of the show today, bago ong, dill, tablespoon of sour cream, some salt, but we're probably not going to need it, lemon juice, honey, and a very cute plum tomato. Eh? Eh? I got a new knife, guys. This is a Chinese chef knife. It is not a meat cleaver. You don't use it to chop bones. You use it to cut vegetables and stuff. Like this tiny piece of garlic right here. <laughs> Blade down on the cutting board. Uh, the knife resting on top of the garlic. And we smash! Small nub of ginger. A lot of people don't know how to cut a mango. They don't know like the anatomy of a mango. Lucky for you, Chef Blackbeard is here to teach you. So I'm just gonna cut off the end right over there just so we can get a, a flat end to it so we can stand it up like this. So you gotta find like the center of it, right? And you kinda gotta just gotta go straight down. Oh, I kinda, I kinda hit the bone. So you go straight down, right there. You get the bone, we're gonna take some of that off. Turn it around, other side. Boom. There we go. You can even like chop off the sides to get more of it. But yeah, that's the uh, that's 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 how you see the mango. So for our recipe, we're only going to need half the mango. Um, we're going to use it for a a sauce, an aioli, if you will, to accompany the fried rice. We're gonna chop it up small because the blender we're using is not the greatest blender in the world. It's like a blender for, uh, to make shakes and stuff. But that's what I got right now. So if that's what you got at home, it's all right. In the Philippines, uh, people pair um, green mango and the bagoong together. Like you take a piece of the green mango, put it, put some shrimp paste on it, some bagoong on it. Let's make green mango aioli. First, let's start off with some mayonnaise. This is about half a cup of mayonnaise. A tablespoon of sour cream. Some vegetable oil. Right now we're gonna put like an arbitrary amount, like about a fourth of a cup. The chopped up green mango. 
about a tablespoon of honey and finally a dried chili I forgot to introduce you guys to the chili earlier but here he is put the cap on and now I forgot to add the lemon juice about like a tablespoon of lemon juice Add a little more oil if you need to. Give it a taste. Mmm, sarap sarap. Turn the stove on. Now while we wait for our pan to get hot, we're gonna put a little bit of oil into our old rice. And we're gonna massage it into the rice, help break up all the rice clumps. Typically, I would be, I would do this uh, before I turn the oven on, but if you've seen the other videos, it takes quite a while for that, uh, <laughs> for that pan to get smoking hot. And I really mean like smoking hot. We got smoke! All right, so we add our aromatics, the onion, the garlic, and the ginger. Be careful for all the splatter. Next, we add our bagoong, our shrimp fry, about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. We're probably going to want to shower after cooking this. A stinky food is a delicious food. After you add the shrimp fry and you start seeing the onions turn translucent, add your rice. Do the flip so the stuff on the bottom is now on top and the stuff on the top is now on the bottom. Now we're not going to add any salt to this because Bagoong is pretty salty on its own. Turn it off so the rice doesn't burn. And give it a quick taste. Do you hear me smiling? Do you hear me smiling? Oh my gosh. All right, let's plate it up. Now let's spoon on the tomato and dill mixture right on top. It's gonna add freshness to the, uh, to the dish. The green mango aioli. Best way to do this is with a squeeze bottle, but if you don't have a squeeze bottle, just dip your spoon into the aioli and let it drizzle like it's falling down from... Oh man, can't wait to dig in. Let's eat. Kaina. And I'm doing something super Filipino. I'm going to use my hands to, uh, to eat tonight. A little bit of the uh, tomato some of the dressing, the aioli. Oh man, that's good. It's like a freaking orchestra is playing happy music in my mouth. You get the saltiness from the pagong, you get the tartness from the uh, green mango, freshness from the dill and the tomato. Super freaking good. You guys should try it. Thank you very much for joining me for episode three. Peace out, Ingat.